Hey family, it's Tasha on Mama Bear Homestead. So today, wanted to bring you a small video and kind of just let you know where I'm planning to go with this channel a little bit. A few people have said, hey, you're not uploading enough. We want to see more. We want to see more projects because obviously we are working on stuff every day. We're doing stuff in the house. Some people have asked, hey, what are you doing in the house? Can we see some of those projects? Um, not quite sure I want to share inside the house at this time and show you that stuff um, as it's taking a lot of our time and for me to then bring a video in there and try to do all that it's it's time very time consuming okay so I wanted to share with you guys five things that I'm doing right now to get ready for this growing season so and I'm gonna show you a sneak peek at the end of this video of my current seed situation that I started inside okay Hopefully that's not too loud. That's them trimming trees outside um, and mulching them. All right, so started my seeds indoors. That's the first thing I did. I started my first batch indoors. I'm about to start some more, um, but I started the main batch six or seven days ago. So I'm gonna show you a picture, let you see what those are doing. They're definitely sprouting. Some stuff is not sprouted yet because it needs some more time, but we're, we're doing very, very well so far. Gonna start some more stuff. Next thing I'm doing is I'm cleaning up and I'm preparing my beds for my perennials. I have that outside part that I told you about, the edging. I'm continuing to clean that up. What, what happened is over years of putting dirt and mulch and bark and different stuff, it's really built up, you guys. And so what I'm doing is I'm going through the whole house. I started with the front, cleaning out the old garden beds, cleaning out the extra bark, the extra dirt, the extra rock, all that stuff, cleaning it out. I'm keeping that material but I'm cleaning it out and taking them down to a restart type of level, okay? Um, so I'm doing that. Third thing I'm doing is I'm saving and collecting for my bed, my bed debris, um, debris, okay? Um, so organic material, I just said I'm keeping bark, I'm keeping the old dirt, the rocks, I'm keeping um, branches on our property, a lot of branches fall, I'm keeping all those branches, twigs, um, leaves, um, grass clippings, uh, organic stuff, right? Eggs, banana peels, orange peels. I'm keeping all this stuff to get ready um, for when I build my garden beds up, okay? Um, fourth thing I'm doing is I'm developing my layout. So I had an idea. I in my last video, I showed you guys my tour. I, I showed you my ideas. Um, I think what I'm planning to do is three good sized garden beds, rectangular garden beds. I'm going with these metal ones that I found you guys um, that are easy to bolt together, especially since we're gonna be late in the game getting them, right? Purchasing them and getting them here. Um, so those will be easy, right? And wood is quite expensive. We looked at the, the pricing and actually to build them with, with um, new wood and not repurpose wood um, was gonna cost us. Now we haven't made it to Habitat for Humanity yet. That might save the day as well. We're supposed to do that it's Friday. We're supposed to do that tomorrow. We're going to head over there. I guess we have a very big one here in town. And so we're going to check that out and see um, what material they have and what I can um, get there. So I might score there. You guys have, I, I don't know. Okay. But I'm developing my layout in regards to um, finalizing which beds I'm going to get, finalizing where I'm going to do my arches, what type of arches, what type of lattices, basically stuff for my stuff to raise rise what stuff i might transplant directly into the ground and not into a bed and so that's basically what i'm developing and i'm working around the yard because i want to keep the yard clear because here in the next few months we're going to be probably re we're going to be digging up the whole backyard to redo the septic um leach field again okay um so figuring out my lay my original or my beginning stage layout uh specifically where i'm putting what vegetables um direction to the sun, which lattices and different materials that I'm gonna be using to actually physically put these beds together, okay? And then the last thing is continued research, right? Continue to research, continue to, um, as I get new <coughs> new plants that I wanna start, how do I plan on starting them? Um, I basically have three ways I'm doing stuff. I've started seeds, I'm gonna start some more seeds in the house. Um, I'm going to start as soon as um, it's time to go outside. I'm going to start some stuff and seeds outside. Um, I also plan to buy some stuff that's already kind of started from the store, see how that goes. Um, so there's a lot of different ways I'm planning to do this this year. Um, 
that I did differently so that I have a few different things so I can personally get used to this area. I can get used to Washington weather, weather patterns, the dirt, things that grow good, things that don't, all this good stuff. The watering situation is gonna be a huge learning curve. So figuring that out, okay? Um, but one thing I'm doing right now for my, specifically for research besides individual information about plants and making things, having um, the most success with the plants this year with really researching each plant and each thing I'm doing is um, I'm researching gravity fed watering systems. I'm trying to figure out um, so that I can have um, buckets set up and gravity fed stuff set up um, much easier because if I get rainfall, great. Um, but if I don't get rainfall, then those gravity um, watering will, will continue to water stuff um, as it's needed. And then also those additionally get filled by rainwater. Um, and if we when we get to the summer when it's super hot, right, and there's no rain, um, easier to fill those buckets with water than... Um, you know, doing a basic watering, a light watering, and then filling those buckets, you know, for any of the super, super dry um, points of the day, okay? Um, so that specifically is my gravity fed stuff. Now, so those are the five things that I'm currently working on to get ready. Stuff's coming up very, very fast. I'm super excited. When I get to the point where I am putting the beds together, I'm placing the beds, I'm placing different things, I'm gonna take you outside with me and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. Um, so trust, this is this channel is not gonna just always be me talking. Sometimes it's gonna be me talking like this, but um, generally the idea is to be able to take you outside and show you physically the things that we're doing, okay? Um, also, for those of you that have been like, listen, you're not posting enough. Can you post some more? I'm just so thirsty. I need some more information. Um, we do a lot of food preservation here. And although I've done some pictures on IG, I've done, I, I try to do pictures when I think about it. That's the thing though, is it's all the time. So I don't always take pictures. And when I do, sometimes I feel like I'm taking too much. Like if I posted food preservation picture every day, I feel like it's, it's too much. And people are just like, okay, food preservation. We got it. Um, but what I would like to do, I think that what I can, I think what I can handle at this point with how busy we are with the house is um, on Wednesdays, bringing you guys a food preservation video. So on Wednesdays, I'm going to do a food preservation video where I'm going to show you something I'm making, something I'm preserving that could be canning, it could be water bathing, it could be dehydrating, it could be vacuum sealing, it could be doing mylar bags, it could be putting food in, you know, glass jars, it could, whatever it is, you guys. Um... I'm going to start bringing you guys a video on that, okay, on Wednesdays. Food preservation video on Wednesdays. Um, and then Fridays will be more, hopefully, of like project type stuff, showing you progress of what's going on outside, things that we're thinking about doing, um, and going from there, right? Our actual journey here. All of it is our journey, but trying that way, hopefully, you know, giving you another um, avenue. Plus I have lots of people on my other channel, you guys on mama bear prepping that asked me, Hey, I'd love to see you do like tinctures and I'd love to see you do, um, food preservation and canning and stuff like that. But I'm telling you right now on that channel, I tried that and the majority does not want to see that on that channel. They absolutely, I think that some people think it's cool and would watch, but very, very low views. People don't want to see it. And so this channel would give me the opportunity to be able to give you guys that, that canning aspect, that food preservation aspect, um, because that has so much to do with being prepared and homesteading and all of that stuff together. Okay. So I will see you guys next Wednesday now um, with a food preservation. What you could do in the comments below also is if there's something that you, um, ideas, right? If there's something you'd like to see preserved or, hey, can you do this type of method or whatever you would like to see, start giving me those ideas too because then I'll take those on and um, it will be fun because it gives me new things and fresh things that maybe I haven't done yet that I can do, okay? And that maybe I wouldn't have thought of to do on my own, all right? So I will see you guys next week. Wednesday will be the next time you see a video. And if you are here and you are not a subscriber of my other channel, Mama Bear Prepping, I'll leave that link in the description box below. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. Take care, bye.